All right, come on, you two. I told you last week we're going. No, you won't need that bag at therapy. And yes, I am gonna be dragging you. I have yet to see you use those legs. Mandy, you're part of this family as well. Let's go. You want your, you feel naked without your antlers? All right, fine. Come on. You know, Manny, a desirable bedfellow you do not make. But I'm not paying to be here either, so can we just agree to a ceasefire until we sort our issues? Doc, we really need you. Do I always go to these charity events? I know better. The first order of business today is the sleeves. Specifically attaching them at the top along the shoulder. The raw edge of the sleeve does show. So surging is good practice. Just double check. No folds or puckers. I press that seam backwards. Oh Jesus, where did that come from? How did I just stain the shirt? Stitch that seam. Hmm, where is that? So I put on a new foot pedal and it's working, uh, as you can tell, I have much more control. But uh, it sounds like something's touching in there with the engine. You hear that? It's like a slow grinding, uh, like it's something's rubbing up against something else. See, if I move this, ah, it's right here. This is touching. This belt cover is touching the big flywheel here. Okay. I had to directly connect the foot pedal onto the motor, which is why I took it apart initially and now have this problem. Okay, so if I move, ah, okay. If I move that up a little bit like that, then it, Clears. Okay. Okay. Give that a nice tighten. Ah. What's going on here? Why is this still? Ah, let me tighten this one first. Maybe that will so that way and then not tighten the bottom one quite as much. There we go. Okay, you know what? That solves the problem for now. And then I can fiddle more with it after I'm done sewing. But for now, that's okay. Now let me see if I can just quickly also wash out this little bit of a stain here. Okay, that seems to have uh, that seems to have worked. After I wrung out as much of the water as I could by hand, I used my hair dryer to complete the job. Bit of a rocky start today, huh? All right, it's not a hundred percent dry, but close enough, so I can finish. Top stitching along the shoulder here. I'm moving to the bottom of the sleeve now. And so, first up, I'm going to cut myself out two pieces for the placket. 
And now as neatly as I can, follow along the edges. I also need two pieces of interfacing to go on the inside of the placket. Trim these out as close as possible. Ironing on this interfacing here, I gotta make sure that I do them opposite because they are different on either side. And this is the glue side. Make sure that's roughly centered. And on it goes. Okay, those are ready to go. Because I redid the shape of my sleeves several videos ago, I do have to repattern the cuffs of the shirt. And I do have to make two patterns because I make my sleeves two different sizes. Go back in older videos or just check out my website, you'll figure out why. The good thing about doing these cuff patterns is that they are basically squares. I needed a pattern piece for the fabric and the interfacing and then cut them out of fabric and interfacing. Yeah, shiny side. Right in the middle there. And then fold over the top edge right on the edge of the interfacing. I'm top stitching this lip down now. Okay, now repeat this another three times for each one of these cuff pieces. So right sides are facing each other. And now I gotta perfectly line up the tops. And now, just run a stitch right along the edge of the interfacing. Cut out the corners, flip it inside out. And then once again, use my scissors or my shears and square out the corner. Press it one way on the inside first. Just so it folds over a little nicer. Make sure the top edge is still aligned. And then press that out. Time for a little bit of measuring. So I'm gonna pin the sleeves together where they would be sewn. Put a couple pins along the waist as well. I've also pinned on the cuffs at what I think the right length is. So I'm going to bring the cuffs down about a three eighths of an inch. Yeah, I think that will uh, that will look quite nice. So if I want to make it three eighths, I basically pull it down to the two plus that little line. So one and seven eighths, right? Okay. So one and seven eighths, roughly there. Wrong side is supposed to be facing up. And so I want this one wrong side facing up as well. I think that is correct. And it makes it sound like I know what I'm doing, but just off camera over there, I yet again watched the tutorial. Oh boy, already messing up. And I watched that tutorial just a second ago. I'm supposed to first Iron over the edge, the quarter of an inch. Yeah, now 
I pin this thing on. Across. And down. I trim this line along, but not all the way to the top. Once I get to about here, I'm going to stop and then at 45 into each corner. I can move this right way around and everything is supposed to fold around. So the underside of the plaque at first, the side that has the button, and so that is supposed to go around and down. And the key is to be as close to the edge as possible. And then if I have done everything correctly, as I should, everything will now fold into place. Um, that is too much sticking over the edge there. I didn't do this correctly. Oh boy. I tried to fix it and I thought I was. And then I realized that I just made it worse. There's now even a little gap here in the hole. Which means that I would have to take this whole sleeve off, cut it a whole new sleeve, a whole new placket. So this has just become a short sleeve shirt. Summertime anyways. Who needs long sleeve shirts, huh? So I finish these raw edges on the suddenly short sleeve shirt. You know what? I'm gonna channel my inner Bob Ross and just call it a happy accident. Iron over my raw edge to get it ready to hem. Now to top stitching this hem down. Close up the side of the shirt, at least the first seam to do so, okay. I'm gonna, while I'm at it here with the serger, I might as well do the hemming right along the bottom of the shirt. Press back these side seams. And then fold over the bottom hem. Get that ready while I'm at it. Now I'm top stitching the bottom hem first. Top stitch the side seams. Now the part I've been dreading the most. Buttonholes. But before I ruined my shirt, I did some practice buttonholes on the cuffs I no longer needed. I did a handful of them until I thought I got it right, did it on the shirt, and sewed the buttons on while I was at it. Why no video? Yeah, I deleted the time lapse accidentally. The final task to finish this shirt, some darts in the back. Step one, marking them out. Now I take those two points, Fold, fold, and bring them in. Now I just sew a nice curve.
here it is, the final shirt. And I gotta say, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it fits decently. I should have put a pleat in the back there so it stretches a bit better when I move my arms. And I could have done a slightly better job with the top stitching over the sleeves. I did, however, do a decent job with the buttonholes, chuffed with myself there. And I've also struggled with collars in the past, and this one turned out pretty, pretty good. I made the placket a little bit too stiff though, because when I tuck it in, it bulges out a bit weird. But despite these little hiccups, I look forward to wearing this thing outside of the house. Manny and Mandy, they're family. I love them, they're my OGs. They've been in these videos with me since the beginning, but we're constantly getting in little arguments and bickering over useless things. How can we deal with our issues? You two don't happen to have anything you would like to add. Oh, si see, this is the issue, the silent treatment. As soon as that camera comes on, oh, they have nothing to say, but boy, are they vocal off camera. Maybe turn the other cheek. You are the adult in this situation, after all. Try a little kindness. You could, oh, well, look at that. Time is up. Always such a pleasure to see you, especially when you bring friends unannounced. I'm <laughs> dying to see you again next week. Literally. <sighs> you know, I'm starting to get the sense that maybe Doc isn't my biggest fan. I don't know. What was, was that Mandy? The tomato, yeah, the tomatoes are growing like crazy. The other day, mama called. She told me all in all. How was the best you'll ever have? You won't commit a crime bigger than giving me up. And I know that she ain't wrong. And I know someday.